So we are starting with um, mechanics. So the one thing that I will state there is that um, these things are not uh, absolute. Like um, it's not really fixed that you should define mechanics in this way. Mechanics definition of a lot of the, like there will be a lot of mechanics definitions because you look at mechanics from different perspectives. Um, engineering science will look at mechanics differently. They will even add some engineering in their definition. But the best definition is this one that I've highlighted here. But then there are those of you who love to keep it simple. So if you love to, to keep it simple, you just say mechanics is the study of relationships among force, matter, and motion. Because that's what mechanics is simply. It simply uh, concerns motion. But the dictionary definition is this one. Because there is classical mechanics, and I know you know that there's also quantum mechanics with us to do with the whatever Albert Einstein discovered. So uh, this mechanics where we say it concerns motion of objects that are large relative to atoms and move at speeds slower than the speed of light. This one makes sense. So meaning when you are looking at atoms, that's quantum mechanics, okay? When you're looking at atoms, then that is quantum what is mechanics. But then hello. Hello. Want to, to get them? Hello. Get them. Hello. Wave at them. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hi. Okay. Uh, so that is the case. So mechanics, uh, for this case, we'll stick to what is called uh, rectilinear motion, where we look at uh, motion in a straight line. So for mechanics to be understood properly, you must know the vectors. That's why we did those vectors that we did. Common among them are velocity and acceleration because we we actually encounter velocity and acceleration the, the most. So what I was trying to say now, next there I was saying. Hello. Hey, mom. Hello. Hello. Go to mom. So mechanics is uh, you know teaching from home is difficult i can't just ignore <laughs> this uh, the bundle of joy um mechanics is like other branches like uh, it's a branch of physics so i've put the other branches mechanics is number one so that's why if you've seen other branches of physics yes tandio tandio sir yes. which object Yes, huh? the highlighted part, the, on the highlighted part, which objects are large and relative to atoms and move at a speed much lower than the speed of light? <laughs> I want you to simplify, be relaxed as you are analyzing. All we are saying is that in mechanics, we study objects that are bigger than atoms. Anything that is bigger than at, an atom, remember an atom is very small. Anything, a toy car, a vehicle, a plane, anything that can move. And all of these are moving very, remember light moves very fast. So when you come to atoms, the motion of atoms, because atoms now, you compare with the speed of light. That is quantum mechanics. But now all the objects, a stone, 
anything that is bigger than that, a phone, anything that can move. You can throw a phone, maybe you're annoyed, anything. Those are the objects we're talking about. All of them that are bigger than atoms. And definitely these objects move at speed slower than the speed of light. Why? Because uh, the speed of light is three times 10 to the power eight, which is 300 million meters per second. So if you have 300 million meters per second, that's very fast. But then you have a car in independence. Nah, it's only 120 kilometers per hour, which is somewhere if you divide 3.6 you get a, a very small number. So try to analyze it from that perspective. Try to analyze it from that perspective. Those are the objects we're talking about. Don't you think that's an amour? Don't No, don't. I want you to analyze these things simply. So when we say relative to atoms compared to atoms. So if, some, if someone says, we're looking at people who are who, who, who are beautiful relative to Tandiwe. Nishbade kompe ya kudi imoba mayoba Tandiwe waba kutila. Aba nishidile. Nishye beautiful. Mwaba standard. Aba di punch padi imo. Teba suma sana yo. So those are the things. I hope I've explained. I hope I've explained. Yes sir. Thank you sir. Mule chula imo mayo. Relax. I want you to relax. Okay. Um. The branches, the other branches, yes, they are there. We have relativity at any speeds approaching the speed of light, a relativity number. Describing objects at any speeds approaching the speed of light, that's relativity. Thermodynamics, very important. We dealing with heat, work, temperature, and the behavior of systems with large particles. So those ones, when you look at heat and temperature, a thermometer, engine, all those, all those now become thermodynamics. So you look at thermodynamics from that perspective broadly. Thermometer, temperature, I'm a piston, I'm a grade nine, everywhere there's heat, and work and temperature, then that is thermodynamics, interactions of those. Then electromagnetism, amalite. Amalite, magnets, the combination of the two. You can't switch, you can't separate them, the magnet and the electricity for application purposes because we know the transformer, you talked about it. So those are things. Optics. You look at the behavior of light in optics and how light interacts with materials. Remember refre reflection, diffraction, and all those interference, wave motion that. So you must understand that perspective. Then now, uh, quantum mechanics. This is the very most modern and it has been changed, like this, uh, separated from, from classical. So it's a collection of theories connecting the behavior of matter at sub-microscopic level to macroscopic observations. So you, you, you want to compare something that is very small and compare to, to something that is very big. So those are the things like matter at atomic level, you compare it now to molecular level or to macro level. So those are the scenarios. So now the, the branches, like the mechanics we look at is, the first one is translational, a, a body moving from one point to another. So if a body moves from one point to another, then that is a translational. Now example of a peroctila, if you fire a bullet, then that, my friend, the bullet will have moved from your gun, yala sa ich pondo. Yala sa ich pondo, ngol ich pondo, yala sa umuntu musuma. Nangu, if you are a poacher, yala sa impombo. 
So all those are translation where there's movement. So a translational motion which we stick to is rectilinear motion, motion along a straight line. Ngole tino karanda ka rectilinear kutuwa alanda fukutila linear motion. It's motion along a straight line. And if you know so, guys, it's not possible to have motion. This is an idealized model. This is an idealized model because the world is not straight. Even the roads that we move in are not straight. But when a, a car is moving, you assume that it's moving in a straight line. That is easy for you to solve the problems that come by. So try to think of that in that perspective. So that's the reason why we had now this diagram because we wanted to define some terms. We wanted to define some terms. So um, the first terms, the first terms that were there, uh, we have this AA fuel dragster. Remember, guys, I was cropping. Na shiringa na wapaka moto kaka suma kama muzambi na wachika korora. Na mkashan, i drugs tansha ish wano kuhishu bansha i monopo. But this, we have this type of car and it's moving on the x-axis. So what is x-axis? The horizontal axis. X-axis. So that's why there's x. There's also y-axis. The analysis is the same there. So the start where there's zero there, that's the origin, the start. Then the car moves to the right, meaning it's moving in the positive x direction if it was moving to the left that was going to be negative so this car moves at one second one second now come 19 meters so this 19 meters x1 that's your initial t1 that's your initial time x1 is your initial position then it moves after four seconds it has already covered 258 meters. Oh, it has, it, it, in fact, not 258. After four seconds, it's 277 meters. So X2, this is the final, which is 277. Then T2, which is four seconds, that is the, the final time. So the displacement is delta x. Delta x is final position minus initial position, which is 277 minus 19. That's the reason why there is 258 as the displacement. You remember I said displacement is change in position. So when you subtract the final minus the initial, you get the displacement. So that's uh, simply it when you're given those things. So I've already emphasized, I've said, the displacement is a change in position, i.e. the final position minus the initial position. So delta x is always equal to x final minus x initial x2 minus x1. It can even be x minus x0 if you have defined. So those are the reasonings you must uh, make sure you understand. So the thing with this now is that average velocity is the change in uh, position, which is the displacement, the total displacement divided by the time interval. So that's why you've seen now the formula for average velocity is delta x over delta t, which is x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1. So now, if we look at this now, for the average velocity in this case, you see 258, which is delta x, divided by t2 minus t1, which is 4 minus 1. So that's the reason why we have explained it here now, to say 
suppose that at one second, the car is at 19 meters right of the origin. Four seconds, it is at 277 meters. So it's there. The time interval, first of all, the average velocity is 258. The time interval is final minus initial, which is four minus one, which is three. So the average velocity will be the division of 258 divided by three, which is 86 meters per second. So that's the way it is. I'll answer you, Tandi, I've seen your question. We are which which objects are large relative to atoms. Tawai should be fin if you if you atoms if you achila if you if you moving a but the speed ya was low ngea luboto na alami oskama yo wa tandiwe. Yes, Madam Tandiwe, you have another question. Tandiwe, you have another question. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, what about the objects, the ones who say that they approach the speed of light? That's relativity. Two man and two man waves, two man particles, two photons to the madam. Things that are very small and move very fast. Waves, electrons even. That's relativity. The two are human and human relativity. You are able to do. You can make an extract again in a thermodynamics. But mostly what we'll be doing is mechanics, thermodynamics, electricity. That's all. So now I've explained these things that the most important again is we'll be changing the terms, velocity and the speed. So I'm going to find the final speed. What we'll actually ask, be asking you most of the times is find the final velocity. But you must remember that this is an error to adivere shafi. It's erroneously that we interchange them. So if someone tells you what is average speed, average speed is total distance over total time. Average velocity is total displacement over total time. So the speed is a scalar, while velocity is a vector. So try to understand that. So the last point, which is an expression from you guys, is um so someone was asking edward was asking as is translation of motion also the same as the uh rectilinear motion rectilinear motion is part of what is termed translation of motion except rectilinear motion is in a straight line translation of motion the object will move from one point to another but it can be either in a straight line or not so Lectinia motion is a part of translational motion. So the last point, which is very important, is that the velocity on your speedometer, which is the velocity at any specific instant of time. The speed is about to be able 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 you are, you are moving from Kapiri to Lef Kapakabwe. Roro diaba smooth with the mafia wake up. Roro diaba tiwa. Nishkonso kwasa na fepari kazadi. Kwasa na chimbo na poi pe na motoka. Kesh para pe na ndeye kwa nika na ba police vice. So that that speed that you see on your speedometer, the velocity at any specific instant of time or specific point along the path is called the instantaneous velocity. I should have highlighted this. It's called the instantaneous velocity. To get the instantaneous velocity, we differentiate the position function. So instantaneous velocity is the derivative of so, x. So, can you repeat on the So can you repeat on the non -cam? The what? Nindem by the pastor the master. Rectilinear is motion in the straight line. Rectilinear is motion in the No, Douglas. Yes, sir. 
You should use English. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sir. I was saying yeah. translation of motion is motion, any motion where an object moves from one point to another. Then part of what translation of motion, some of the translation of motion, the one we'll focus on is called rectilinear motion, which is along a straight line. Meaning translation of motion can either be rectilinear or non-rectilinear. But then if it possess a man could he the straight line, which is the rectilinear or linear motion. Just are you getting don't you chula sana na brain? So now guys, eh? the velocity at any specific instant of time is called the instantaneous velocity. So to get the instantaneous velocity, you do dx dt. Now we dx dt. So we feel more more well than we can calculate. More sure from our edge. No more than we can dx. So para para ba y wa bika po x. Para para ba x wa bika po t. So meaning in physics and mechanics, the independent variable we use the most is time. Like x axis, yes, we ding. You want need time, horizontal axis. What we compare with mostly is time. Most of these functions is speed. Well, we compare, so that's why you should know what is the velocity time graph, what is the position time graph, uh, what is the acceleration time graph. You must know those. Why? Because we compare with time, almost always. Even like the most important time is important because you must manage this well. Even your course, you have margin time. The other point is that other than just managing time, uh, uh, mass is also important. And most importantly for physics, the most important thing is energy. Energy. For physics, remember, uh, physics gives us energy. You find light energy, bulbs, uh, heat energy, the stove, uh, kinetic energy, the car. So most of the things we look at are energy. So those are the things. Um, I'll still answer these questions that you've put. You can still go on your side master and we continue our debate. You can put as many questions and I'll go, I'll go and look at them. Yeah. So there is... Some of the notes. Because my name is my name on the page last time. So there's this question. A cheetah in Buiri, Ile Pepekanan is crouched in ambush. Ile Fokudia, 20 meters east of the observer. So meaning observer at 20 minutes, 20 meters, Ambokumuna, Fokanan Kadi, Kale Wutuka. Then at time t equals zero, the cheetah is clearing 50 meters east of the observer. So those are the things. Naka butuka naka pika drop to go to man and then the cheetah runs along a straight line. The observer estimates that during the first two seconds of the attack, the cheetah's coordinates x varies with time according to the equation x equals. 20 plus 5t squared. You can find this written in different ways, but I would prefer it's written like this, meaning the x we are looking at is in meters. The time now at Perakali, the time is in seconds. I'm sure you've seen that. So now the questions are find the displacement of the cheetah during the time interval. T1 equals one second and T2 equals two seconds. B, find the average velocity during the time interval. C, find the instantaneous velocity at time equals one second. They now are drawn or draw off, catch it, So those are the things. So this now, uh, is the best example for everything we've talked about. X equals 20 plus 5t squared. So to, to get X1, 
to get x1, you substitute where there is a t pada. What have you kapo? One second, you find what x1 is. To, x, to get x2, you, sub, you substitute the, the t to which is two seconds. Apart the t pada. You substitute, remember substitution, look be kapo. Two seconds, then you get. You go and practice. Then to get the average, you get the delta x, which is x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1. I'm expecting answers from you. Then to get the instantaneous velocity, you differentiate that. I want you to go through your calculus. You must remember so that when you differentiate a constant like 20, the answer is zero. You guys, your intake, you're doing calculus now in grade 12. So I can't, we can't pretend, we can't pretend. So to put to case, she will have hidden it back. Everyone who finished, I think, in 2017 and 2016, we've been doing calculus. So that's the thing. Go through, if you don't know calculus, get a nephew or a son. My wife, she, I mean, she to calculus, so to know. I'll put some calculus basics later. So um, I'm expecting responses. I'm expecting responses. Hello? Hello? Guys, are there any questions? Yeah. Go to mommy. Yeah. Daddy. Mm. Let's thank you. I'm in class. Good. Uh, guys, are there any questions? Um, Penda. Penda. Penda, you can ask your question. Mm, Inessa, take question. I'm just asking if you can, um, you can kindly repeat on how we'll be substituting this uh, on the T when finding X1 and X1 on this equation. No, to just substitute. Apart the T will become for one. Okay, it's one up a squared. Eh? So it will just be 20 mm -hmm. plus 5, open brackets. Capacity okay, substitute could become more brackets. Open brackets, 1 squared. So it will be 5 plus C, 20 plus 5. You'll get your answer. Then for the next one, again, upper the T upper, you open brackets, put 2 squared. Miss nice Chap. Miss nice Chap. Thank you. Mm. Any other question? Remain with uh, six minutes. Also Any other? To submit our answer in study master. Yeah, sub, sub, submit them on study master. It's an example, man. It's an example. Meaning, after all is said and done, you must have a report when you have to answer your chin. So those are the things. But divide your time very well. Nganish Tayakom skills, one box and beat song. Who are these two? Mana Vemishama Boko? Changwe. Changwe Walanda. What is your statement, madam? I'm saying, I have to. Uh, post our answers on study master we post them in the group which one which one is study master is better okay what's up no no message java for wing ah the five zad in jambo four answers eh because kura manama wow 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 so those are the things uh, so I wasn't clear on who is this one? Movat. Yes, you're saying. Raise your hand before you ask. Yes. Oh, sorry, sir. I, I'm saying that I wasn't clear on uh, C. C is uh, you do calculus. You do dx dt. Dx dt. Remember you did dy dx, eh? so now you do dx yes, dt. So you, you differentiate x with respect to t. So you differentiate what's the derivative of 20 plus the derivative of uh, 
Is it 5t squared? Mm. That's a derivative of 5t squared. So that's the one that you do. Sir. Yes, Gordon. So what you're, what you're implying is saying that the, the, the C question, all we need to do is just to differentiate the equation stated. You differentiate it. When you get to that derivative, okay, that derivative will give you the instantaneous velocity. So what yes, you sir. get, say maybe you get say 10t, you get it? Yes, then sir. they have asked us to say, find the instantaneous velocity when t1, when time at time t1 equals one second. I understand, sir. And so now you, you substitute. That I understand. <laughs> I understand, sir. <laughs> I hope your friends, boy, what are your fire ban over you? Two lenders are understanding me eat at you. Valet will have one to my classroom. Valet will not such an Asana to the Chura. But from go that about from go. Um, any other. Illustrations. So as I was telling you, we've now started mechanics. Um, because we've done the intro things. Part of the intro things that I wanted to do was calculus, but So I just remembered that you guys you know a bit of calculus yourselves. So I don't want to shove or feed you a lot. So go and go through calculus. There's someone who posted pure and applied maths. Remember that? In that group. So you go, you read that pure and applied maths, that admin book. On body calculus, here per first the introductory calculus. That's the only one you do. The rest. The rest. You. You just ignore further calculus, don't do. So uh, as we've said, mechanics is a branch of physics that deals with motion. So one of the things I didn't say is that mechanics has two branches, kinematics and dynamics. Kinematics looks at motion without looking at its causes, what is causing the motion. I'll come and talk about that. I'll, I'll put a definition in the next notes. Well, dynamics is, uh, looks at motion in relation to its causes. So that is the reasoning. So, we, well, we say force is what causes motion. So F equals MA, that's dynamics. But kinematics is now all this that we're doing. Well, that we should make it and get a cheetah, you would okay. Now, force it and get a would okay for cheetah. Name pump before you get that we should. We should have to move so. But now if you have force and you're solving, then that's dynamics. But then if you don't have force and you are solving, eh, when you don't look at force, when you just say, cast that from rest and accelerates and does what? Plot the plus time graph. That is kinematics. So those are things. Um, 